This is a short video about long division. In this video I will simply explain the procedure we use when doing more complicated division sums. Let's say you have the sum 375 divided by 18 equals. This might mean you have 375 euro to share out among 18 friends. It might mean you have 375 sweets to, ch to share with 18 classmates. Or it might mean you have 375 books that you need to put into 18 piles and you want to know how many books you have in each pile. Regardless, your first step is always estimation. Give yourself an idea of around what the answer will be and the division will be much simpler. Also, if your answer is a long way from the estimate, you'll know you've made a mistake and you can go fix it. How can we estimate what 375 divided by 18 will be? Well, there are lots of different ways. One way is to round the numbers to numbers that are close by but are easier to work with. For example, 375 is close to 400 and 18 is close to 20. 400 divided by 20 is a simpler sum because you'll still get the same answer if you do 40 divided by 2. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So we know our answer of 372, 375 divided by 18 will be close enough to 20. Another way is to keep 18 as it is and round 375 to a number easily divisible by 18. I know 36 is a multiple of 18, therefore 360 is also a multiple of 18. And 360 divided by 18 is a simpler sum to 375 divided by 18. Well, 18 goes into 36 twice, so it must go into 360 20 times. So again, our estimate is 20. So we know our answer is going to be close enough to that. Remember, long division is still just division, but there are a few more steps. In this sum, we will need to divide, multiply, take away, and then bring down. Let's start with D division. Can we share those three hundreds between 18 people? No, we can't. So we'll have to exchange them for tens. Three hundreds are thirty tens, so now we have thirty-seven tens. Can we share those thirty-seven tens between eighteen people? Yes, we can. If we have more than eighteen tens, then each person could get at least one. How many do you think each person can get, considering we have thirty-seven? Well, remember our estimate was twenty, so that would be two tens. So let's have a check and see. We can check and see by doing a little sum out here, 18 times 2. 2 eights are 16, 1 2 is 2 and 1 is 3. That would mean 36 tens. Do we have 36 tens to give out? Yes we do. So can 18 divide into 37 twice? Yes it can. Now here's our multiplication. Two 18s, which we already worked out, or 36. This brings us to takeaway. We had 37 tens. We gave out 36 because we gave 2 to each of those 18 people, meaning we gave out 36 of them. So how many tens have we got left over? Well, 37 take away. 36 gives us 110. So what do we do with that 110? Well, we exchange it for units. How many units are in 10? Well, there are 10 units in 110. So if we bring down the 5 units we already have, now we can say we have 15 units. 18 people, 15 units. Can we give them each one? No, we can't. So they don't get any units. So that means 18, 375 divided by 18 gives us 20. So what about that 15? Well, that's our remainder. If we can't give all those 18 people one of those, then it's our remainder. Let's try another sum. This one is going to be ever so slightly longer than the last one. Let's try 474 divided by 14. 
So remember, what do we do first? Well, we always estimate. Always. How might we estimate this sum? Well, again, we can round it to two easier numbers to deal with. Let's round the 14 to 10. And if we're rounding that down, although 474 is closer to 500, you should probably round it down to 400 as well. Because you've rounded one of them down, let's round the other one down as well. 10 goes into 400 is the same as 1 into 40, which is just 40. We could also do the estimate by rounding the 14 up a little to 15. It's going up very, very small amount. And then we could round the 474 to a multiple of 15. Well, I know 15 goes into 45, so let's make it 450. 15 goes into 45, 15, 30, 45, three times. So it goes into 450, 30 times. So there's our potential estimates, 30 or 40, somewhere around there. So let's begin. We begin by dividing. 14 into 47. How many times does it go? Well, our estimate was somewhere between 30 and 40, so we could either try 4 or 3. Let's try 4. 14 times 4. 4 fours are 16, 1 four is 4 and 1 is 5. Well, that's not right because we don't have 56 tens. We just have 47 tens. So let's try 14 times 3. 4 threes are 12, 1 three is 3 and 1 is 4. So can it go in 3 times? Yes, it can. So that's our multiplication step. 3 14s are 42. We had 47 tens, we gave out 42 tens, so we now take away. 47 take away 42 means we are left with 5 tens. Our next step is to bring down. So we bring down our 4 units. 5 tens is 50, 4 units is 54, so we have 54 items left. Can we give those out between the 14 people? Well, yes we can, because there's more than 14. So it's 14 units that each get 1. How many do we think they will get? Well, will they get 4? No, they won't, because we already did 14 times 4 in our rough work. 14 times 4 was 56. We don't have 56, we only have 54. So that means they can each get 3. And our division is done again. 3 14s, as we already know, are 42. We had 54 units, we gave out 42 of them. So, how many are left? Well, that's our takeaway, and that means there are 12 left. We have no other number to bring down, so that is our sum completed. 474 divided by 14 is 33, and we have a remainder of 12. 12 units left over that we can't share equally. If you need further help with long division, there are lots of resources available on the internet. Other teachers have made their own long division videos, such as this one by Miss Toll. You can see the link at the top of the page there. If you Google Maths is Fun Long Division, you'll get lots of good explanations, animations and little games where you can test yourself and your long division skills. I hope this video is, is useful. Remember, if you're struggling with long division, ask your teacher.